we're defining in the DSM anxiety based on sweaty palms, rapid heartbeat, reported feeling of apprehension. And there's a huge clinical literature about internal differences in the experience of anxiety. Is it separation anxiety? Is it annihilation anxiety? Is it moral anxiety? Is it signal anxiety? Is it post-traumatic anxiety? And we've been trying to tell the researchers it matters for therapy which one it is. Um, recently, again, in Panksepp's research, we are finding that there is a biological basis for some of these different subjective experiences of anxiety. There are, um, Panksepp writes about there being seven different basic needs biologically or systems in the brain, or even drives, he's bringing back a, a term that's been much um, uh, scorned in recent years. But uh, the, among these are, there's an, there's an anxiety center in the brain that seems to be the legacy of our fears of predatory animals. And that's, you know, somebody's gonna get me. And that's what clinicians have called paranoid anxiety or psychotic anxiety or annihilation anxiety. I'm going to be destroyed. Okay. If you've ever been close to being destroyed, you have felt annihilation anxiety. It's not just people with psychotic tendencies that feel this. I felt it on uh, September 11th when there were planes in the sky and nobody knew what they were doing and they had taken down one tower and everybody was afraid they could be anywhere. I felt annihilation anxiety then. That kind of anxiety is completely indifferent to the serotonin reuptake inhibitors because it's not mediated by serotonin. In fact, the main thing that will calm that kind of anxiety are the benzos and alcohol, the downer drugs, which may be why you know, a lot of people um, with substance use disorders have a certain level of annihilation anxiety that they're trying to drown uh, and self-medicate for. Then there's also separation anxiety. That's in a completely different part of the brain. In separation anxiety, there is a part, every young mammal has a separation cry. And when separated from the mother, it will make that cry and exactly the same brain area will light up in the mother as has lit up in the baby in response to that baby's cry. If you insist on separating the baby animal from the mother for longer than a few minutes, it will first get very, very anxious, and then it will fall into a depression. And it's visible. You, uh, some of you, I'm sure, have seen um, work by people like Beatrice Beebe, where you can see this happen with human infants. That system is mediated by serotonin, and that system is responsive to the SSRIs. So there's even a medical implication for looking at what's the meaning of anxiety 